Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. By now you have probably seen that Tana has released their pricing plan and even though I have made videos about it and talked about the fact that it is pricey but probably worth it, it is fairly priced given all that it offers, I still completely understand that some people might not be able to afford paying this much for a productivity app every single month so it will be 14 and 18 dollars depending on whether you bill it yearly or monthly when the pioneer price is removed and the discount will be available until the end of june so a couple more weeks until that is gone but in today's video i wanted to go over some of my favorite uh, alternatives to something like Tana and we are going to start with the one that is best with AI. So what Tana is at its core is actually an outliner application, a way to take outline notes or take bullet points notes and uh, that is what this app can do as well. So this app is actually called uh, Taskade. And it can do a lot of the same things. And the reason why I included this is because it is probably the best when it comes to AI, which is something Tana is really good at. But here you can build your own system inside of here. This is, again, mainly a project management application, but it can be used as a note-taking app as well. And it is an app I have used previously to manage my clothing brand together with my partner. So this has been an app I've liked a lot. I personally still think it is more tailored towards project management than Tama is but I still think that this is a great option so you have the ability to actually uh, take notes and uh, do bullet points inside of here what you actually don't get is nested bullet points which might be important for some but you get a lot of different views so everything from a list view to a mind map and even a Gantt chart uh, or chart as well. So you get a lot of different views inside of here. You also uh, get the ability to uh, use AI quite easily within the app right here. And you also have custom AI agents which you can make inside of the application. So uh, overall, I think that this is great if you are really into um project management and you really want to use ai inside of your productivity app when it comes to the pricing of this application it costs you um eight dollars each month if you bill it annually or 10 if billed monthly that is for one user as you can see here uh they have a team plan as well and you can add multiple users on the pro plan as well uh, for the free plan you get one ai agent one workspace five ai requests per month cross-platform access task list mind maps flowcharts kanban boards calendars and more so you get a lot of different views what you are actually paying for here is uh, the unlimited ai usage the task gate AI agents, multiple of them. Here you only get one and uh, multiple workspaces. So up to 10 workspaces, whereas you only get one workspace uh, on the free plan. You also get advanced AI automations and unlimited file uploads, uh, but uh, multiple uh, workspaces as well as having uh, unlimited AI usage might be really important. Uh, I think that it is really important when the selling point of the app is AI. So I would probably pay for this, but if you aren't using AI too much, you can actually get away with just having the free plan. It is highly customizable, so you can use the one workspace and just build it to have different areas of your life. 
So the next application we are going to talk about is actually called Workflowy, and just remember that Tana at its core is an outliner, and this is more of a similar outliner application, closer to something like Tana, but you don't get the same AI capabilities as you do in Tana, and none of these apps have super tags, but um, they give you the ability to see your um, see your notes in a different view. So this is the one I've chosen because I think it's the closest to Tana. Uh, and you get the board view right here. So you can just drag things back and forward. Uh, you actually have different types of views. So you can have the to-do, you can have them as a paragraph, bullets, or a board. Um, but basically you can have nested um, bullet points. So you can have a bullet point live within another bullet point. It has great search as well, which is something I think it's really important inside of um, note taking app. It has tags as well. Uh, and as you can see here, you can actually nest things within uh other things so nest bullets within bullets so as i said this is the closest one and um even though you uh have a lot of the same things you are actually giving up the ai capabilities by using an app like this but it is highly customizable and it has a couple of cool features one is the mirror feature so uh, a thing can actually live in multiple places uh, and you can have the exact same thing in multiple places. Let me just show you an example of that. Let's jump into my projects. As you can see here, um, these bullet points look a little different. That is because these are mirrored from somewhere else. So if I jump into my social media and my YouTube channel, this is mirrored uh, as well as my podcast with super notes should also be here, right here. So these are mirrored to live in multiple places. And just like Talna and Talscade, you actually have backlinking inside of here as well. So I can do double square brackets and I can link different things together. It offers a lot. The main thing you're actually giving up is databases, but you get Kanban boards and you are also giving up all of the AI stuff, at least for right now. But this is an app that has been around for quite a while and is a popular choice. And it will only set you back around $5 each month if build monthly and I think it's closer to four dollars uh, each month if build yearly I think it's four oh six dollars for the yearly and four ninety nine if build monthly something like that but it is definitely a cheaper option than going for Tana and uh, you get a lot of the same functionality that you might be used to from an application like Tana. The last application I wanted to mention is one that is a little different. I would say that this is the furthest away from uh, something like Tana, but uh, it is or it works as an outliner application. Like you see right here, you have the ability to add uh, bullet points and you can also change these to be full notes uh, or to-dos or even numbers. This app is called Twos. It is completely free. What you're giving up here is you are actually giving up a lot of AI as well and having customizable AI agents and meeting agents and stuff like that. But you actually do have... Uh, AI inside of the application uh, but it isn't as good and um, it isn't as customizable it is it is a little different that's what I would say but this is an app I chose to include because it is so simple to use um, it doesn't have backlinking it has a graph view which is something I 
love and uh, I really enjoy using. So it has a graph view right here, but it doesn't have backlinking. What it does is that it gives you a simple place to write everything down and be able to find them later. So I have used this application for a long time and I use a lot of different applications in order to make videos on them but this is the one that everything goes to in my case i call it my single source of truth so everything goes into um twos just because i think it's so simple it is easy to capture things it doesn't take a lot of energy to keep it organized it doesn't have a huge learning curve so that's why I wanted to include an application like this because both Tama and uh, Taskade and Workflowy are all applications that take a while to learn uh, and if you've just learned Tama and you're switching and you're switching you might not actually want to spend a lot of time learning another application again that's when something like twos comes in as an option i've been loving this app uh, and as i said it is free you have a bit of gamification with the ability to uh, earn coins and you can uh, redeem upgrades in the mobile app so that is things like hyperlinks or highlighting and it is quite easy to actually get a lot of coins. Uh, so that's all of the ones I have in this video. I was considering whether or not to have LogSec inside of here as well, but I ultimately decided that it wouldn't, or that I wouldn't include it. Um, and there are several reasons for that. I felt like I wanted to include the apps I already have to give you a couple of different options. Uh, and I also think that LogSec, just like Tana, has a huge learning curve. And I wouldn't say that it is necessarily something people want to do to jump into another app and trying to learn it. And I think that LogSec is probably the app that is most powerful but it also uh, it also uh, takes the longest to learn so that's just simply why i decided not to include it thank you so so much for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching